Welcome to LifeWords Day by Day. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6, Paul writes this, I have applied all these things to myself and Apollos for your benefit, brothers, that you may learn by us not to go beyond what is written, that none of you may be puffed up in favor of one against another. For who sees anything different in you? We see from the end of verse 6 that Paul is wanting to deflate a puffed up attitude. He says that none of you may be puffed up in favor of one against the other. So some were chanting Apollos' name and others were mocking Paul's. So Paul was wanting to fix that, but not because of hurt feelings, but because it hurt the witness of the church and detracted from being able to see the goodness and the work of God. So he covers at least four marks of arrogance. And he uncovers these marks of arrogance by asking three questions. The first question brings into question their right or authority to judge Paul or Apollos. He says, don't be proudful of one leader and condescending of another for who sees anything different in you? Now, the way we have the question given to us here can, it can be a bit difficult to understand, but the gist of Paul's question is this, who died and made you king? Who do you think you are anyway? You don't have the right to judge another man's servants. After all, the different groups were judging servants that belonged to Christ, not themselves. So let's suppose that my wife and I invited some friends over to our house for dinner. Well, we would probably go through a checklist of things that needed to be accomplished before the guests arrived. We would need to put the laundry on the couch away, clean the bathroom, sweep the floor, fold up the blankets, put up the dishes, set the table, grab the shoes and put them in the closets. And, and we would give each of our children different assignments as well. So let's say the guests arrive at our home and they walk in and they notice crumbs under the table and the blankets are not folded the way that they would have folded them. And, and, and they know us. They know that we operate as a family and they know that the kids were involved in the cleanup. They may even know which child had the responsibi responsibility of sweeping the floor and which one had the task of folding the blankets and which one had the job of cleaning the bathroom. And during the course of the evening, a guest pulls me off to the side and says to me, did you notice the crumbs under the table? Whoever was responsible for that job, well, they're not worth much. You really need to speak to them about stepping up their game. And, and what about those blankets over there? The corners, they're nowhere near matching up. I know which one of the kids was responsible for that sloppy work. But did you see those bathrooms? They were sparkling. That kid is my favorite. He's the best out of the bunch. And did you notice the forks were set in the wrong side of the plate and the chicken was a little dry? If a guest were to say that to me, I would probably say something like, who died and made you king? Who do you think you are anyway? You have no right judging my family like that. You have misunderstood your role here. You are a guest in the house, not a boss. That's exactly what was going on in Corinth. And when you sit in judgment over areas that are not yours to judge, then it's evident you have misunderstood your role and ungrateful for where you are. Today when you pray, please pray for Paige Sanchez and her family, our missionaries in Nicaragua. And also remember the Goreme Life Word broadcast that's heard in Tanzania.